Hi friends, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can create this beautiful dashboard or cover and this specific dashboard is from the Orchard collection which you can find on the hub page uh, right here. And here we have different kinds of templates. You are free to use them all commercially and sell them in your shop. You can also further customize them, change patterns or also change the stickers. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can recreate something like this. And this will be a very easy tutorial because the only thing you need to do is open up a new template and then click on create a new planner. And then next you want to go to layout and then you want to remove the boxes in here so you can have a blank canvas. So click on layout, planner, adjust layout, then click on the boxes, click on the minus button to remove them like this. Same for the other side. And now that you have an empty layout, go to stickers. And you will see that the Orchard uh, sticker collection is listed up here, so click on it. And here are all the stickers. And I also only use the stickers to create the dashboard. So scroll all the way down and then select one of the two last images you see down here below. So for example this one here. And then make it bigger and this will be the background. You can also select to only work on the left page or right page so it's easier to work. And then next go to widget and then you want to import or add the text quotes widget like this. And then next type in your quote or text or whatever you want to type in. So if you check out down here below we have a big selection on different kinds of quotes and you can also filter for the quotes. For example you can type in fruit and then different kinds of quotes will show up which are related to fruit. So maybe let me select this one here. And then next to change the font click on this AA button up here. This will pull you the front selection. Then select a font you like. Um, I selected the long, the long line chord font for the other dashboard. So I'll select it here as well and then increase the font size. and then uh, set it to fine up here. Then you can also change the font, maybe have it set to a dark green or you can select any other color you like. You can also have it set to white like this. Um, the color I selected in the original dashboard was a, was a darker pink brown. So one that's more in this color, like this. And then next for the strawberries and flowers, go back to stickers and then scroll down until you see the strawberries. Uh, you can also use any other fruit, but I'll stick to strawberries for this video. And then you can place the strawberries um, randomly on the template. like this for example and if you scroll further down below you will see that you also can add single strawberries like this so you can place them anywhere on the template randomly and then you can also add a few flowers like this This is how the finished dashboard looks like. It's not too difficult to create these. And then next I'll also show you how I did the other one, this one here, which is pretty simple as well. So let's switch to the right page and then next scroll all the way down like before and then add uh, this graphic right here. So click to add, expand like this, go to widget then add the quotes text widget and then in the settings below select a widget select a quote you like for example this one here 
then go back to the font selection up here on this AA icon. Select a font you like. Expand the text or make the font bigger to your liking. You can also change the colors. And then next let's add the fruits. So back to stickers. And then here you can randomly add a few, um, a few fruits down here below. Like this. And there you go. So this is how the finished dashboard looks like. You see it's pretty simple. It's just adding fruits to the layout and then moving the elements until they are nicely distributed. And this is how to recreate the dashboards from the Orchard collection. If you have any questions, feel free to always message me Instagram or Facebook and I will try to respond to your questions as quickly as I can. Bye!